Hey, it's me, Lynn Jimenez. I'm the founder of Connect, Flow, Grow, and it's been a minute since I've been on any social media. My son asked me the other day, my, my baby, he was like, Mommy, do you still record videos for TikTok and Instagram? Um, and I was like, I mean, I will eventually, but right now I'm just practicing what I preach and reducing my stressors because the girl has a lot going on. Um, it's all good. I'm just working a ton right now. Um, and so this is something that I just have to let go. And that is, in fact, something that I teach all the time. Um, uh, reducing stress is not just learning to self-regulate. So your deep breathing practice is great and definitely has a place in your own stress reduction. Um, but that's not it. So if all you're doing is self-regulating and not looking at the conditions in your life or the experiences that you're having that are causing you stress and you're, own, you're missing a really big piece of it. So reducing the demands or stressors is equally as important. Um, and that's what I've been doing. I have had to prioritize where my energy and effort needs to go, which means social media has not been a priority. So I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna do a whole series about the things that I teach um, and break it down bit by bit but that is something to consider. So think of um, reducing stress responses as a two-part equation. The first part is having tools to self-regulate. There's so many different tools. I don't ever prescribe anything because you have to pick the ones that work for you. Um, if I were to tell you what to do, that might actually be more stressful for you. Um, and then the other part is reducing stressors or managing stressors. So I don't ever like to think that I'm managing my stress. Um, I regulate my stress response, right? I regulate my emotions, um, but I can manage stressors. So I can look at ways to reduce the demands and the experiences that I'm having that are causing me to experience stress.